Hi, Nige back here again with another inbox review and today we're going to be looking at Hobby Boss's Chinook uh, C47A. Okay, uh, always wanted one of these. Okay, uh, this is the A, so it's not the British version. So it's got the, we've got uh, two US Army helicopters and yeah, it looks really, really nice. So without further ado, we'll get you into the overhead. So start off as normal with the instruction, normal uh, hobby boss. Okay, just a little bit of instructions, but that's about it. Nothing about the write up. And we'll put that to one side for just a minute. Okay, straight into the parts of sprue maps. Okay, and then we get straight onto it by building a fire extinguisher. Okay, fair enough. So. Fire extinguisher, moving on to start pouring the cockpit together before then we have the uh, instrument panels going on to the actual aircraft. Two seats then get, getting uh, attached for the pilot and the co-pilot. Uh, the uh, crew compartments then gets put together. Okay, uh, this is the, the door from the cockpit into the crew compartment, which you can now see just here, okay? With a hatch under there, and then we've got the, uh, the tap where all the tie downs are. We then move on to adding some more parts to what well, looks like the radio sort of area in the, uh, in the crew compartment. We then got the, Two fuselage hearts going joined together and the porthole windows being put in. And I don't know what that part is, which we're sure I'm sure we'll find out in a minute. Okay. We then move on to adding uh, another fire extinguisher. So there's one at the back. And that's something that looks like it goes off to one side, some sort of vent or something like that. Okay at the the front of the aircraft okay just there through the hole i'm assuming and then we've got the engines going together into the engine nacelles which then get attached to the side of the rear part of the aircraft we've then got this long boom that sits along the length of the Chinook, one on either side, as shown there. We then got the boarding ramp, okay, or the cargo ramp at the back. And then we have the forward wheels getting built and put in place, and a uh, another panel going onto the belly. The rear wheels and then going into the the rear part of the aircraft the uh, other little odds and sods going on then we've got some more of the boarding ramp okay so this is like a clamshell uh i, I believe this bit opens up as that bit opens down then we've got uh, a part going on the spine so that should cover up uh, that seam line rather nicely. You just have to deal with the one that goes around the rest of the aircraft. Putting the uh, the windshield and the nose in, and then we're moving on to the two rotors, so the fore and rear rotor. Before then, we add those to the actual aircraft, and there it is, all built. We have two call outs so we have uh one okay overall overall olive drab and then two uh we have olive drab but it's a different olive drab so it's a lighter olive drab so this one is uh aqueous is h52 and this one is h304 okay so let's move on to the plastic. We'll start off with the main fuselage. 
okay so you can see this is going to be quite a chunky aircraft once it's built uh, we have the rear part of the aircraft with the portholes uh, lots of nice rivet and uh, power line detail on this aircraft as you can just see there turn it over uh, looking on the inside okay you can see all the texture from the padding excuse me padding that goes onto the actual walls uh, i can't remember where we saw anything that actually slots in this position here okay other than that bit that goes in there but again it's it's sorry this is the front of it yes yeah, front okay uh that'll be where that uh bulkhead then sits i would assume moving on to the rear of the aircraft okay so again some nice rivet detail uh i don't know whether they're going to turn out to be sink marks or not yeah i can actually feel them so they're going to need uh, potentially filling and sanding turn it over and then we've got the ribbing on the actual aircraft and the foam inserts not the foam insert the padding again on there but again some nice detail on there on to the boarding ramp okay so uh we have one part and the other part and again we've got some nice detail on the actual boarding ramp itself uh, though we only have panel lines on this part on the other parts we have some panel lines and some rivets controls engine nacelles forward engine nacelles <coughs> wheels okay and other actuators and bits and bobs so crew compartment so we've got the floor of the crew compartment just there and again that's really nicely done some nice uh raised and recessed detail so you can really go to town with a weathering mud uh chips uh paint wear and all that sort of stuff We've got the roof of the crew compartment again this lovely uh, uh padding and material on there on the bulkhead on that bit there which is part of the bulkhead then we've got the the boarding ramp scoops not scoops uh ramps actual ramps okay i mean some other parts uh, no detail on the other side. Again, yeah, really nice. We then move on to the spine, the rotor heads. We have a part for the uh, the top part of the ramp. Okay, the bit that opens up, and the other ramp, that, the bigger ramp that I've just shown you, is one that opens down. Uh, some nice detail on these tubings okay but just looking at it it all looks lovely going throughout some control parts <coughs> rotor heads look really nice okay they shouldn't, they shouldn't be a problem at all and then we move on to the rotor blades okay so six rotor blades all with a nice uh, curve to them these nacelles that run down the the length of the aircraft some nice detail though we'll have to get rid of that mold line that runs down the whole thing and A little bit of stress in the plastic where the injector pin was but nothing nothing majorly wrong okay with this with this through all looks really nice next up we've got i've wrapped these two sprues which are exactly the same so i'll only take one out together and you can see we've got some more 
uh, are what looks like the rotor head parts, okay? Uh, and the engine fan, they're potentially, I think, some of the seat parts. Maybe some of the engine parts, as you can just see there. The control yoke. Okay, it's all really crisp. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, and really nicely done. We then got plastic parts. Okay, so we have uh, a plastic, clear plastic part for the instrument panel. We have uh, clear plastic parts for all the portholes. And another clear plastic part. I'm not getting it because I don't want to scratch it for the actual nose of the aircraft. Moving on to the decals. So there are the decals, nothing really. Okay, so you've got the, uh, I think they're the walkways along the top and all the bits and pieces, serial numbers, the, uh, the actual code number and everything like that. And with that, you get also get the photo etch for the grills for the, on the engine. Okay, it's quite heavy duty that, it's quite thick. We'll have to see how that handles. So there we are. That's Hobby Boss's uh, Chinook. A really, really nice kit. Uh, again, it's another one that's been on the on the wish list for a good while. Uh, one that will get built. I just don't know when that will be. So uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.